Oh, okay. I know you can't see me. Here we go to Croatia. Let's see. Let's see you on the other side. Right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm in Zagreb. I thought I'd do a proper intro. Because, what am I? Day, day three. <laughs> Yesterday I did a little bit of filming. The first day I got here, I did zilch because I was knackered. Yesterday went to the 80s museum, which was fantastic. Um, totally immersive, you can dress up, you know, you're allowed to interact with absolutely everything. I've got a couple of little videos and some photos. Um, yeah, have a look. Okay, so I'm just heading to um, the 80s museum. I think it's a collection of things um, from the 80s, obviously. Um, but yeah, let's we'll see. It's, it looks quite good. I'll uh, take some shots when I'm in there. This is the museum. Okay, no guide, no fence, no velvet rope, and no glass. Oh. Oh, do not make video commercials. Fantastic. Yeah, that was really good. I went to a fantastic restaurant <laughs> called Kung Fu Express. Oh yeah, and it's uh, a Bruce Lee themed <laughs> themed restaurant. He's got his outfit and his shoes down there. Say hello. <laughs> um, we've got some hot and sour soup, some gyoza, some... Uh, some fried shrimp and this is kimchi fried noodles looks good yeah followed up with a shot of sake yeah all that that came to about what was it 211 kuna yeah, it was good 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 deal lovely little restaurant really friendly um, i recommend it if you're here i know it's not traditional i will go and try some traditional foods i've got a list of things that i want to do while i'm here i don't know if i'll get them all done on my map down the road about a kilometer away maybe is the tesla museum i'm just gonna nip to the tesla museum it only opens till one o'clock at the weekend which i just found out so it's a good job i checked that so it's gonna go in a bit i got a couple hours there should be good Let's see what's there here i am uh, the technica museum exciting Some awesome stuff in here. Oh, 
really interesting selection of old TVs. And then just a bit of nostalgia. This Panasonic was my first TV. I used to play Mega Drive, PlayStation 1. 95 it came out. What a good TV that lasted. It lasted so long. There's absolutely loads of stuff to look at in here. Oh, cheeky. Yeah, some of the exhibitions are, are still a little bit closed off, obviously because of COVID, but there's still plenty to look at. It's a really nice collection. Yeah, I definitely recommend it. Last time I was in Zagreb, I was only here for a day, day and a half. I spent the time getting drunk in a hostel that I was staying in and then being really hungover. And then I got a tattoo um, at midnight before I was flying out at four in the morning. Which was this absolute bad boy, a Komodo dragon, which is my spirit animal in the primal zodiac. One of the other things I want to do this week is go to the zoo. Now I'm not, I'm not a big fan of zoos. Um, I don't know if this zoo's going to be any good, but they do have Komodo dragons. And I don't think I've ever seen one. So it's going to be quite a spiritual thing, maybe. I don't know. So today, I'm going to the zoo. Hopefully to see some Komodo dragons. That's the real reason I want to go. Just stepped off the tram at the Maximir Stadium. I'll show you. That's the stadium Maximir. And there's also this sculpture of this guy. Someone's painted his balls red. Fantastic. So across from the stadium is the park uh, Maximir, that's where the zoo is. On the road, on the way down are these lampposts and they're all decorated as big giraffe necks. Mm -hmm. So I'm just in the park and it is fantastic already. I can imagine this place in the summer being absolutely gorgeous. There's herons flying everywhere. They're everywhere. <laughs> Oi, come on. Let's zoom in a bit. They're taking the twigs. I guess they're going to make nests. This is, I've never seen anything like it. Gorgeous, they're everywhere. Go on, mate. Oh. <laughs> Couldn't have asked for a better day to come to the zoo, really. I'm not going to film loads here, but this this is the oldest structure in the in the zoo, and it's known as the Enchanted Castle. Uh, built in 1926, it used to house uh, bears or wolves, and yeah, it's a little little snapshot of the history. So, I'm at it. I've been going around the zoo looking for the Komodo dragon. And it's like, you have to go down. I probably thought there wasn't any. Um, but there it is. I found it. It's absolutely incredible. Oh, So, finally got to see a Komodo dragon. I've never seen one before, which is my spirit animal in the primal zodiac. And you should check that out. Just Google there, uh, primal, primal astrology. But this, this particular Komodo dragon is easily two and a half meters. I don't know if the, 
the, the film's doing it justice. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. I just spoke to one of the keepers and she said they're feeding them, feeding the Komodo dragon very soon. Uh, so I'm going to go get some food myself and then come back. Back in the tropical house, um, the keeper just said it's going to be five minutes. He's very active now. They're at the door with the food. This is pr private viewing, no one else is here. Got the stick, got the meat, got the meat in the box. Whoa. Wow. <sighs> wolfing that beef down like it's nothing. Oh, so they've, they've got to make him go around, keep him active. Okay, magnificent creature. This consists of three uh, species in the world which are uh, omnivore. Okay, they're, oh really? Yeah, they're eating fruits, figs mostly, and olives. Oh. But olives from Philippines in the Indonesia. Uh -huh. So he gets like one uh, one uh, one time a week uh, food and two times a week uh, something like S this so, or something. snails. Oh no. Yeah, they are eating snails and they are hey Valdo, do some. Do some. Hey, do right though. You'll be. So fast. You're, you're asking me if they're escaped. Yeah. <laughs> 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 we have to be quicker. <laughs> Them. And they have uh, <laughs> so all the other varanus are carnivores, mm -hmm. and they have uh, blunt teeth in the back because they are crushing uh, shells from yeah. the snails. What would, what do they eat more most of them? Uh, Sorry? Or is it they quite a balanced diet? Or yeah. They, they, yeah. And they have a very important role in uh, spreading the seeds. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, of course. Because they are not uh, digesting seeds. Uh, I will just check now there uh -huh. uh, for snakes and go in the underwear. That was amazing. What, what's this? What, this is the grey monitor lizard. Grey's monitor lizard from the Philippines. He's the male and mm -hmm. they are females. Uh, so he has to eat only one mouse and they have to eat two, so it will be uh, quite stressful for them. Hey, <laughs> Wow. So that's the male. Did she say the male's bigger? Yeah. 
No, he only gets one mouse. Sure uh, <laughs> oh. Good. What an experience. <laughs> and these these get more. <laughs> yeah. Oh, stolen. <laughs> hey, what's the one? There's a tunnel, and I forgot what it's called. Gag. Juliana. What's what's the tunnel called? Gritch. Gritch. Tunnel Gritch. Yeah, which is a big tunnel. I know that's a bit geeky, but uh, you, you know, when when in Rome. <laughs> okay, I've come to a place. It's called the Tunnel Gritch. It's free entry. I think it's about half a kilometer long. I'm not quite sure what's in there. But gonna have a look. Bye, man. Juliana, what do you know about this place? Nothing. Mm -hmm. Absolutely nothing. So we're in the same place. <laughs> <laughs> so, come, I don't know, maybe halfway down, um, coming to this chamber. It's massive. And the acoustics are fantastic. Oh, you could have fun in here for uh, forever. 
Welcome to the Abyss. Wow. Uh, I'd absolutely love to record some music here, I'll tell you that. I have to remember that it's other people walking through. <laughs> So today just lucked out a bit, the sun's out, or oh, it's a bit bright, go this way. And come to the Mestrovich Pavilion, it's got an amazing gallery, you pronounce it Kop Kopac, who is a uh, Croatian artist and he spent a lot of time in Paris. Um, yeah, have a look at this building. Beautiful exhibition going on at the moment. Look at that. We'll just have a look at the uh, ceiling. Now on the route, as I was walking past, I was wondering what it was. It looked like a wolf with some monkeys on. It's actually uh, from the artist who's in the, uh, in the exhibition um, because he's done some, some different mixed media pictures of it. Um, and it's called Mother. I thoroughly enjoyed my time here in Zagreb. It's steeped full of culture, history, and it's just really welcoming. I'd definitely return and spend a little bit more time here. There's many, many things I didn't get to do. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed it. Thank you. She's wondering what clothes. Well, she'll put on her makeup and brushes her long blonde hair. And then she asks me, Do I look alright? And I say, Yes, you look wonderful tonight.